Hey, what's up? This is Mr. Love here. Uh, we're going to work through a problem that deals with the, uh, the speed of light, calculating uh, frequencies based on wavelength, um, and looking at how many times a wave vibrates in a given period of time or goes up and down in a given period of time. So we're going to start off the same way that we, uh, we do with all our problems. We're going to go ahead and, and define the variables um, and then make the substitutions and solve algebraically. Okay, so in the problem, it's given that the wavelength is 450 nanometers. Um, so that's that right there. So we can say that the wavelength equals 450 nanometers. Um, it's also given that this wave is, uh, is being emitted for a period of time, and that's 1.0 times 10 to the minus 10 seconds. Um, so that's a two piece of information that's given, of course. Um, we know, because this is a light problem, that there's also another variable that's present, and that's C, that's the speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And the equation that's going to govern this whole thing is simply this, C equals frequency times wavelength. Okay, so the first step here is the fact that or realizing the fact that this is in nanometers and you can't use that in this equation when we're talking about meters and seconds. Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and convert that um, into something that we can use in this equation. Um, quite simply, it's, it's pretty easy to do. 450 nanometers. Um, and you multiply that by a conversion factor, actually. So we know that there is 1.0 uh, times 10 to the negative 9 meters in a nanometer. So what that is is one nanometer on the bottom. So we can do uh, dimensional analysis and cancel that out. And one times 10 to the negative ninth meters on top. When you do this math, so you're multiplying this 450 by basically uh, one times 10 to the negative ninth of one, um, you get uh, this number. So 450 times one e minus nine, you get 4.5 e minus seven. times 10 to the minus 7, uh, and that's going to be in meters now. So we're in good shape to work through this problem. Um, what I like to do is pre-solve this equation, um, so um, it makes it easier to do the substitutions and, uh, and your variables isolated on one side. So we're looking for the frequency. So frequency is equal to C, which is the speed of light, divided by lambda, the wavelength. Uh, we can make those substitutions, so F equals 3.0 times 10 to the minus 8th divided by 4.5 times 10 to the minus 7th meters, okay, this is meters per second. So that gives us a frequency of, let's see, Six point six seven, six point six seven times ten to the fourteenth. Okay, and the units for that is hertz, um, and that's also the same as per second. Okay, so you can use either one of those units. Hertz is per second. And so now the question is looking for um, how many cycles or how many times up and down in the wave train. So you have a number that's in seconds, and if you take that number and multiply it by the frequency, you get a number of times that that wave vibrates up and down. So the next step in this problem is to find the number of cycles is simply multiplying this 6.67 times 10 to the 14th. per second, okay, again hertz, times uh, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 10th seconds. So dimensionally, that seconds right here crosses out with this per seconds, and you're left with the number is 6.67 times 10 to the 14th times 1 times 10 to the minus 10th, and you get um, if you do that calculation correctly, uh, 600 or 66,000 
600 times. Okay, so that's that problem. Um, we're going to do a couple more solutions in a couple minutes. So uh, work through it and send me any questions if you have them.